G'day guys, time again for another gizmo video. Uh, it's a case of what's in the plain looking little box. Now this might give you some clue of what it's got to do with. Those of you who are into photography will probably know what that is. It doesn't come with the box, but makes it a whole lot more useful. It's a really plain looking little box isn't it, but uh, good and sturdy. Let's have a look at what's inside. Okay, so a USB cable, so it's something electronic. An Allen key and a rubber ring. Some sort of a remote control. Manuals. And here is the gizmo itself. Nicely packaged. Good heavy little unit. Some wheels on it. And does that give you any hint yet what this might be? Okay, the wheels here fold out. And now we have three wheels and it becomes apparent to the photographers out there what this is. It's a remotely controlled dolly. Automatic. One more item in there is a connector. Screws directly into the top of it. Get that good and tight there and keep this bit adjustable. And what you do with this is you mount your camera on top. Now that's what this is for, although your camera will screw directly to that. It's useful to have a ball mount on top because then you can adjust the angle of the camera. Because then you can use this to swivel your camera into different angles. Okay, let's move this gear aside for now. And have a little look at the unit itself. What we've got on this side is your on-off switch. And a USB port for recharging. That of course is what your little USB cable is for. On the other side so the lights gives you the charge indicators and speed depending on what you're doing. Three different speeds on it. They're all quite slow as you would expect from a dolly. And here you can see, let's just turn the wheel on. You can reverse it. Now going the other way. And when it's running, you can set your speed one, two, or three. Now these are the lambs are adjustable so it will go in a straight line. You can put it on a slider if you've got the right size slider. Now according to the specs on this you need an eight centimeter wide slider. The wheels can be adjusted so that you can get the dolly to turn in a circle. Now depending on which way you want to mount it, I think the best way is to have your camera lens facing this way because you're going to get the best centre of gravity that way but we'll give it a go and see what happens. Okay, as you can see here this is just a little test. Got it turning in circles. Now you can have your camera facing one way or the other. You can turn the wheels in the opposite direction to get the dolly to do larger or smaller circles. It's got a remote control but it's important to remember with the remote control, if you can see this little piece of cellophane, put that back into the remote when you finish using it because the battery will flatten if you don't. Okay, You can just see the reflection on that, that just separates the battery from the connections and ensures that your battery is not going to go flat. So on the remote you can reverse direction, stop, start and change speed, that's the lowest, next highest and highest speed. Okay so this will give you a little bit of an idea of some of what you can do with these sort of units. 
but you can imagine you're going to produce beautifully smooth footage with something like this. Of course it's going to have to operate on a nice smooth surface so one thing we want to get for this is a slider and then we can use it out in the field and get some very nice smooth shots. Now the lighting here is not ideal for what we're doing but this is just a demonstration. As you can see that's a reasonably heavy little DSLR camera. It's got a double battery pack on the bottom and it's coping with that pretty well. Just change the speed, we'll slow that down. And I'll show you a bit of the footage from the camera. I can't guarantee it's going to be in great focus or anything like that because as you can see the lighting here is not brilliant. We got this from eBay and from what I've seen the same unit has different logos on it. So there's a few different companies who are just sticking their own name on this same unit. I don't think the unit is any different between any of them. You just basically look for one that uh, appeals to you and is at the right sort of price. Now this was around $80, a little bit over, and we still need to get a slider so that we can use it more effectively when we're out in the field. As always, if you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up down the bottom. If you like the channel and what we do, uh, then maybe you'd like to subscribe and you won't miss any of our videos. So hopefully you enjoyed this and hopefully I'll see you again shortly in our next video. Cheers. See ya.